I'm Sergeant Jason Pierce with the San Jose Police Department Recruiting Unit. Today we're going to give you some ideas on how to be successful in the oral board process. First I want to congratulate all of you for completing the Pella B and being successful and also a portion of the physical agility test. So congratulations. So now let's get past this phase folks. The first phase that I want to help you out is the motivation and preparation phase, then followed by the ability to make decisions, then interpersonal sensitivity, and lastly oral board communication. So when we talk about motivation and preparation, the things that the oral board is going to be looking at are the awareness of the nature of police work, the realistic viewpoint, understanding of the duties, responsibility of a police officer, realistics for your reasons and why you have an interest in police work, and then the motivation necessary to be a police officer. So part of that would be considered your verbal resume. And some of the things that we've come up with are your verbal resume template. And those would consist of looking at our department as a whole, meaning our San Jose Police Department, and also our city department, the relationship that the city has with the police department. Also, what things have you done in the past? Have you gone on ride-alongs? Have you talked to numerous police officers? Whether it's in San Jose or wherever you're based out of, do you talk to police officers and get ideas? Maybe you have relatives that are police officers, your uncle, your nephews, your cousins. Do you talk to police officers or you have friends and family? Do you get insight on what the job is about? Those are the things that you want to bring up during your oral board. What is your education? Did you get to high school, high school diploma? What type of college do you have? What are your degrees in? What special clubs were you in while you were in college or high school? Were you in a language club? Were you in a sports team? Anything that would consider yourself to be motivated to be a police officer or traits that you would get up. For example, if you belong to a sports team, you know that teamwork is a very important aspect of police work. So when you're on a basketball team or a football team or a baseball team, you then can relate that as far as being police work because a common goal is to win and to prepare yourself to win and that's what we do in police as a police officer is that we prepare ourselves to go out there and do the job that we need to do for the community. What type of military experience? Some of you already have some military experience. You want to explain what type of basic training that you've gone through as far as boot camp, the discipline that it takes to be somebody in the military. So you want to explain some of your experiences in the military and what your specialties are. Do you speak a secondary language? In the city of San Jose, you know, we're 30% Hispanic, 30% white, and also 30% Vietnamese. So you speak Vietnamese or you speak Viet, uh, Spanish, you're going to get extra pay for that. So you want to also, not only just because of the pay, but the fact that you can communicate with a variety, a variety of different people in our city. And then what kind of job do you have currently? Do you have a security job? Do you have a job that um, deals with the community? Are you working at a department store? Are you working at a restaurant? All those jobs or whatever job that you have, you have to relate that to police work. So if you're a security officer, most security officers, they write reports, they patrol a certain area. So how does that relate to becoming a police officer? And then if you're working at a restaurant, you're probably dealing with different people, different ethnic backgrounds. And if you're working at a store, you're probably dealing with a lot of different people, different, different backgrounds also. You might have some conflict resolution, but you're interacting with the community. And that's how you want to relate your job experience, your education, and how it relates to police work. And then you might also do some volunteer work where you're working with the community and, and helping out at shelters, you're coaching, um, you're doing tutoring, any type of community services that you have done to help out the, uh, to help out the community. Those are things that you want to me mention in your uh, verbal resume. So we'll go on to the next aspect of the oral board interview, which would be the ability to make decisions.